am Dr. Teresa Nartea, and I'm an assistant professor and extension specialist uh, specializing in marketing and agribusiness. Well, what makes me passionate about marketing and agribusiness is actually seeing education come to life. Uh, as an extension specialist, we're actually working one-on-one -on -one with all the county offices, the extension county offices, uh, and they have farmers that they educate and they call extension specialists out and we actually can go to farms and help farmers and actually small business owners to improve their lives and when you see um, the education come to life you might suggest something that is a theory or a book and then you apply it in real life and you see it translated through the farmer's um, lens, then something magical happens and we're a part of something bigger than just being book smart. Down in South Hill, um, we actually, which is Greenville County, uh, the farmers uh, had actually come to a workshop that I was giving. I, I'd gotten really excited about food hubs because we're seeing a lot where the farmers have gotten excited and we've been educating on farmers markets. Um, I've been doing a lot of work on farmers market display over the years and but farmers markets aren't really a golden goose. Um, some farmers aren't even comfortable with selling at a farmers market so I thought well we need to start changing the approach and apply some other things and so I studied a lot uh, in my graduate program on food hubs and I that that's book knowledge and then I thought well why couldn't we apply this for some farmers that are limited resource but they're more they like to grow a lot but they don't like to do a lot of the direct marketing so this year after several years of planning and even putting forth the idea of food hubs a new one will be opening with a lot of help from Virginia State University. Um, we have about 45 farmers that have learned about the Food Hub concept and they'll be actually, um, they're actually setting up a retail store and incubator kitchen in, in Emporia, Virginia. I, um, it's actually South, sorry not Emporia, but South Hill, which is close to Emporia, but it's South Hill and um, it's right across from the farmer's market. So we have seen um, in a short while this transition from, it's not just farmer's markets, it's other things. It's having more than one market. It's um, teaching marketing outlets and um, the, the business, business planning that goes along with it and seeing a real business start that wasn't there. Um, and it's going to service initially 41 farmers that are limited resource and once the ball gets rolling and they start having value-added products there from the incubator kitchen that they'll sell in the retail spot and um, you know it, it's sky's the limit there's value-added products so just a little education goes a long way um, but it's not about extension it's about the clients the farmers the county agents and them and them being part of something bigger we were able through through extension to even teach the farmers how to write the grants to get you know to get the to be able to get that money to to open that because the whole thing about businesses that they need a lot of help and sometimes the farmer might feel that they're alone in it but there are all these other people that want to see farms succeed in, in Virginia, in America, and the farmers don't even know how to communicate what they need in a succinct way so that political bodies, um, could be at USDA or the governor, knows where to channel money to help the farms to succeed because farming is the backbone of society. Extending knowledge, changing lives. <laughs>